Today, the skills gap is wider than it's ever been. 5.6 million jobs, according to the BLS. Vocational education is still missing from an overwhelming majority of high schools. Bills like the one before this committee still meet resistance in part because millions of Americans still view a career in the trades as some kind of vocational consolation prize. It's a bias as misguided as any other prejudice with us today, and it poses a clear and present danger to our country's overall economic security. The student loan bubble is going to burst, as bubbles always do. Currently, the outstanding debt is $1.3 trillion, and yet we continue to lend money we don't have to kids who can't pay it back, to teach them jobs that no longer exist, while ignoring all kinds of careers that actually do. In Springfield, Massachusetts, right now, there are tens of thousands of manufacturing jobs available, yet the unemployment rate in Springfield is just as high as it is in the rest of the state. The mismatch between available skilled jobs and the unemployed local population is enormous, and it's happening everywhere. Well, if you want to make America great again, you've got to make work cool again. You've got to make it aspirational. It can't be this thing that's sitting there for a whole bunch of people who failed on the aspirational road. It can't be that vocational consolation prize. You just have to change the image of the opportunity. There's this notion, I think, that the existence of opportunity is the balm for unemployment, for instance. And of course, the skills gap tells us that that's not the case at all. There are 5.6 million opportunities, right? So back to the enthusiasm. We can't just assume, in my view, I can't just say, hey, look at what's here and then get out of the way and watch the people stampede toward it, right? So the way we approach it is we challenge them. You know, we, we say, look, this is in our little world, you need to comply with some things that, that might not be in this bill. You need to write an essay. You need to submit a video. You need to make a persuasive case for yourself. You need to submit references. You need to demonstrate work ethic in some way that we can demonstrably reward. And when we find those kids, well, we've got about 600 who have gone through so far. And they work. And they're using the opportunity for what it is, which is a tool to get to the next, to the next level.